This is how I became a professional game developer. Also, before I get into the video, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so if you do enjoy this video, or you found it helpful, funny, you know, click subscribe so you can see more of this content. Alright, professional is a bit of a stretch because the more correct term is job level. Professional means relating to a profession according to Google. I'm a minor and I can't have a job, but I am qualified to get a job. Here's the timestamp if you want to skip to my experience with these certifications and some of my advice. This isn't going to be general advice like, oh, drink water, sleep more. It'll actually talk about what courses to buy, and of course everything's not sponsored because uh, I'm not cool enough to be sponsored yet. You can change that if you, you know, click the subscribe button. Also, it's not technically all that clickbaity. Professional is literally in the name of the certification I have. So technically, you're now speaking with a professional <laughs> Unity game developer. I'm Deflux on everybody on Twitter. Also, please follow me. I need more followers so I can feel cooler. <laughs> Now you're probably wondering, how did you get the certification? I'm looking at your channel, what is John Wack? It's so scuffed. I've been thinking about that too. Luckily the exam doesn't need you to show one of your projects, or else I wouldn't be here giving you advice on how to pass these certification tests. All the questions on both certifications I have are all multiple choice. And as long as you have the willpower to read a crap ton of Unity documentation, you'll be good. Anyway, the two certifications I think I'm qualified to speak on are obviously wow. the ones that I have. The first one is Unity Certified Associate. Personally, this test was pretty easy. This test covers the basics of all things Unity, so lighting, materials, meshes, all that stuff. It sounds like there's a lot to cover, but you know, it's just the basics, so it'll be really, really easy. There's a great course on Udemy for this, but the people who sold it stopped selling it because it was apparently obsolete, even though nothing about the curriculum has changed except the logo and the name of the thing. So if the people who made this course, GameDev.TV, are watching this, I don't think anything in the course is out Dated and you can bring it back. Unfortunately, the best you'll be able to do right now is watch Unity's tutorials on their site, which aren't as well organized because obviously they aren't suited for the course. Unity does have their own official course. The videos and activities in this course don't seem all that useful to me, but what's very useful on this course is the practice questions that it has. Some of the practice questions in the course will actually be on the test, so that'll help you out if you are actually planning to take the exam. It's the one I used to study, and I got a 91 on this test. And now, the second one. Unity Certified Professional Programmer. But this test was much harder, like there is a massive jump, and I couldn't find any helpful courses. The course is a series of exercises that's supposed to be like a practice test but more fun, I think, but it never actually teaches you how to acquire those skills in the first place, so it's pretty difficult to get to, I would say. What was very helpful was this Google Doc I found online mentioning all the things you should know. This test has haunted me for two years. The first time I took it, I, I, I took the wrong exam, but the second time I took it, I failed as well, and both times I cried. Luckily, my anime redemption arc finally came in clutch when I passed this test a couple weeks ago. I'm not as qualified to speak on it now, even though I passed it, I barely passed this test. Yet you gotta understand, the passing score is 500 with a max score of 700. I got 509. If I guessed one question wrong, if I mouse slipped somewhere, I would have wasted another 300 bucks. But you gotta understand that not only was there money on the line, there was pride on the line, okay? I lost to this test twice, I wasn't gonna do it again. I was gonna win from here on out. I was so nervous during the test, my butt cheeks were never clenched this tight together, and my arms had never shaken this much before. And I cannot begin to tell you how hard I popped off when I finally passed the test. I mean, it was pretty funny though, my sister had a Zoom meeting, so everybody heard me say, OH MY GOD, UNITY, YOU AIN'T NOTHING GET POPPED OFF ON, ah! But yeah, the only difference from the third time I took the test than the previous two attempts was that I bought the practice test. This practice test was super important. The practice test had a bunch of example questions. These weren't gonna be exactly on the test, but it gave you the type of questions that were gonna be on the test. I don't think I can show it, or this video is gonna get 
taken down for like copyright reasons. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if I did a good job of explaining it. I think I did a pretty entertaining job of explaining it. If you want to read more about this, I'll link the certifications page in the description of this video. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you're a returning subscriber of this channel, you'll know that I have no upload schedule whatsoever, but I'm going to try and post a little bit more often. So if you want to see that happen and you're a new viewer as well, click like, click subscribe, uh, follow me on my socials. I need followers. Thanks. Bye. Bye.